What's up friends? You know, in a set of previous videos, I've done quite a bit with approvals. I did one with SharePoint, multi-layered approvals, I did one with Excel, I think I even did one with, with Planner and Forms. Uh, but in, I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys saying, hey John, what about if my approval needs to time out? What if I want to escalate it to somebody else? Or what if I want it to retry every so often if it doesn't get a response? And so, I decided, you know what? Let's make a video on that. So today, we're going to learn about retries, we're going to learn about timeouts, and we're going to learn about escalations. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, so uh, first things first, as always, is head on over to the Flow site, get logged in, and uh, what you can see here is I'm actually just going to go ahead and start with a template. Um, if you go ahead and click on templates at the top, type in approvals, you'll see one that says start approval when a new item is added. Okay, And so basically what I've done here is just started with that template, uh, customized this all a little bit, connected it to a site and a list, uh, went ahead and customized my approval form here, and just left alone the condition and my if yes, if no paths here. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start customizing from here. First thing we're gonna do is a timeout, okay? So what you need to know is uh, on your approval step, go ahead and click on your ellipses, and then go ahead and click on settings. Now, you can see right here, there's a timeout setting. Uh, and so what we're going to go ahead and do is going to type PT1D, okay? And so what that means is we're going to go ahead and just time out this approval after one day. All right, and so you might be wondering, like, why would we time out an approval after only one day? Well, what if this is, like, really mission critical? What if we really need to get this information approved quickly? So we, would, we might want to time it out after one day so that way we can escalate it to the next level, to our manager or a manager's manager, something like that. Okay, so uh, we're back here at, uh, at our little timeout, so we're just gonna go ahead and click done. And so now we know that that's gonna go ahead and time out after one day. But then what are we gonna do? We, we, we want to do a retry or we wanna do an escalation. So they kind of take the same path to, to do a retry or an escalation. So basically what we're gonna go ahead and do here is we're going to Go ahead and add an approval again. And then we'll choose the type as anyone from the list. And we'll open this one up so we can see it. And we'll say, please review. And then we'll put in title, assign to, let's go ahead and just put it to me again. Perfect details okay perfect so we, we just basically create a second one and so now what we do is we click on our ellipses here on our second one and we do configure run after okay and so then what we say is we do a configure run after the start and approval has timed out and get rid of is successful okay and so now this approval will only run if this one times out so now, ideally, in the real world, you know, we, we'd have someone else here. So you know what? Let's actually do that. Let's go ahead and just put in Kent. And we'll say if, uh, if it times out to John, then uh, we'll send it to Kent. Okay? Now what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and create a second condition. And this condition is going to be the same as the first one. And if we'll say response is approved. Okay, and so now what we'll do is we're going to set this one to say we'll only run after if start and approval two is successful. Okay, and so basically this condition will only run if approval two happens. If not, this approval will run. Okay, and so now what you can see is very simply I created a timeout here under settings in my first approval, right? One day in the ISO 8601 format. I then went ahead and created my second approval and I configured a run after that says this only runs after if the first approval times out. And then I created a second condition 
and I set a configure run after again, that says this one will only run if approval two is successful. And then otherwise, the first condition will run, right? And so now my only change between an escalation and a retry is this. So that was an escalation from John to Kent, one person to the next. If I wanna do a retry, I just put the same person in again. And now one day later, this approval is gonna try again. And just like that, we add three new skills to our approvals repertoire. We added timeouts, we added escalations, and we learned how to do a retry policy. I don't know about you guys, but those things all, to me, make approvals way better. If you like this video, let me know in the comments. If you want to see other Flow videos, also let me know. As always, guys, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Later. Ooh.